Hey, to connect your Samsung Galaxy Watch FE to your Android smartphone, first of all, you will have to for sure select the language, so that's quite obvious. In my case, I'm gonna pick the English. There we go. Now click to set the region. And if you are waiting for this processing, okay, right now we can also quickly pick uh, the region. So in my case, it will be, for example, Poland. Now we have to restart your watch. And in this time when your watch is restarting, you will have to get the Galaxy wearable application on your phone. So we have to just go into the Google Play Store, input this phrase, download this application, and now you can simply open it. Now scroll down and click Start. Next, as you can see, uh, the application is searching for the Nerby devices. Now when you got this welcome screen, uh, the watch is actually visible. That's how it looks. When you swipe up, you can find uh, the same information that you have to just go into the wearable application and click to scan again. Now, as you can see, we have to select our available device. Now, accept this pairing on your phone and on your watch. And right now, you will have to sign in into the Samsung account. So we can click skip, but it's recommended to tap to sign in right now. Now you will be redirected into this uh, website and you will have to input here your login data. So your email, then the password, and also you can use your Google account if you want. In my case, I'm using this account. So I have to click continue, then click to continue again. Now we have to accept all of these permissions. Click to I agree to all, tap continue, then scroll all the way down, select I agree. And now as you can see, we got this information that the watch is getting to be ready and we have to actually wait and this might take a few minutes. Okay, and in this screen, it actually recommend us uh, to install some apps. So we got installed on our device, so the social apps and also recommended for watches. If you want, you can click here and select them and install. But in my case, I just want to unselect and I want to download any application that I want manually on my watch. So I'm going to click continue. Now uh, we can enable the automatic backup of our watch. It's actually recommended. So click next. And here you can get the Samsung Smart Switch application. Uh, if you want to transfer data between your watches. In my case, I'm just going back. Now, as you can see, we have to set our wearing preferences so we can set the preferred wrist between the left and the right one and the buttons position right of the screen or left the screen. Now, click next if you set it up. Right here, you can also change the font size. That's how it looks. And also the bold font. Then click next. Right now, we can set the emergency call. So click next. Now, we can set the targets for your daily activity in the Samsung Health application, but don't worry, you can also do this later. So if you want to quickly connect your watch and go straight, just click next. Uh, right here, you can also get some other uh, advanced measurement like your sleep, your heart rate, click next. Here, you can get the heart rate zone guidance when we are running, click next again. And here we can find some detailed analysis of our running posture, left and right balance, so that's actually a lot of interesting options. Click next. And now it is actually finishing uh, setup of our device. So we have to just wait. And now in the next step, you will have to click next to sign in into your Google account, then input your lock method. So in my case, I'm going to use the pattern. There we go. Now it is actually signing in into your watch. Okay, and in the next step, you will get this information about the automatic updates that you can click continue. And now you are here. That's actually how the Galaxy wearable application looks like. You can find here a lot of different options. You can change the watch settings. You can find uh, and change your watch faces. You can also find the apps screen that you can customize. So this is it. Right now you are connected and all you have to do is just to wait until your device start up and you will be able to use your device. If you are looking for other tutorials for Galaxy Watch FE, you can actually find a lot of them on my YouTube channel. So this is it right now. Please subscribe.